This is a how-to video that demonstrates plotting x and y coordinates on a Cartesian plane, also known as a coordinate grid. The Cartesian grid is created by the intersection of two number lines, a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis. As they intersect at the point 0, 0, also called the point of origin, four quadrants are formed. Here is a finished product of the Cocapelli design. If you are new to plotting ordered pair on a coordinate grid, write x, y above the list of coordinates to remember that the first number is the x-coordinate and the second number is the y-coordinate. For the first few designs, highlighting all negative coordinates is good to do. Begin with the x-coordinates. Using a highlighter, highlight only the x-coordinate if it is a negative number. Remember to ignore the second number for now. Now select a different color highlighter. Using the second color, highlight only the negative Y coordinates. Highlighting the negative coordinates helps call attention to them and thus be more successful on initial plotting practice. Moving now to the grid, we see the horizontal X axis, zero in the middle, positive to the right, with the negative numbers to the left. Highlight the negative part of the x-axis with the same color the negative x-coordinates were highlighted with earlier. Now look at the y-axis, the vertical number line. The numbers go up for positive and go below zero for the negative. Highlight the negative portion to correspond with the negative y-coordinates you previously highlighted. You're almost ready to begin plotting the points. I suggest folding the instruction paper in half for easier manageability. Each pair of numbers represents only one point on the grid. Find the first coordinate along the x-axis, then move up if the y-coordinate is positive or down if it is negative. A ruler or the instruction paper itself can help guide or track for the appropriate point where the two values intersect. Plot the next point and connect with using a straight edge. A 12-inch ruler is good to have on hand, but most points can be connected with a 6-inch ruler, and these are less cumbersome. Connect the points in consecutive order as you go until you come to the word stop. It is best to make a mark in front or behind each ordered pair so you can keep your place. Refrain from drawing a line through each ordered pair. For if you make a mistake, it will be hard to go back to find out what the what the numbers were supposed to be. Remember to begin fresh with each new set of ordered pairs.
In many designs, there are decimal values used, such as negative 4.57. These are intentional for students to realize there are additional values between those labeled on the grid. Negative 4.5 would be halfway between negative 4 and negative 5. From here, move to the y value of 7 and plot the point. It works the same when a y coordinate is a decimal. Zero point five and negative zero point five tend to be the most difficult for students, but they work the same way. Zero point five is halfway between zero and one. Here we have an ordered pair where both are decimals. Find the halfway mark for the x-coordinate, then the y-coordinate. Notice that the point does not end up on a line, but instead is in the center of the square. Once the design is complete, and it looks as though no major mistakes were made, students often like to go over their work with a thin black marker. I require my students to color as realistically as possible or as appropriate for the design. Creativity that would enhance the design is also encouraged. Some coordinate art designs lend themselves to that more than others. Plottingcoordinates.com offers a variety of one quadrant and four quadrant coordinate art designs. Some are available in both formats for differentiated instruction to take place. There you have it. Please visit PlottingCoordinates.com to check out all the unique designs currently available. Put a little fun in your math classroom today. Students will love you for it, and you'll be amazed how engaged they are. But beware, they will ask for more.